Yeah, yeah. Okay. He does okay. your workouts at lunchtime at work. Good shape, mate. Looking good. <laughs> well, thanks <laughs> to you. Thanks to you. Yes, we tried and the portions are massive. St. Joseph's Catholic School, Epsom, Surrey, where it all began. You know, me and you used to run around the playground. Grew up. Now look at the ball we've come, we've smashed it. <laughs> Nikki's having a little cry as well. Hello, I'm back. I'm glad you're back. I'm feeling all emotional about it. Hello, everybody. Oh, you've got the blue one. I've got, and I've got this one. Oh, you got the magazine? <laughs> Guilty. I've come full circle now because I thought I'd come back to the place where it all started. Because what I really want to do, what I'm passionate about, is helping people get fitter and healthier. And I think kids at a very young age, it's so important to educate them on you know, good food, the importance of exercise. So this is a bit of a re bit of research today. I remember this, well actually the office used to be there. Who loves healthy food? Wow, you don't even need my help. <laughs> Who likes fitness? Who likes doing exercise? Oh, everyone. Everyone loves doing exercise. And my aim really is to do it locally, but then hopefully do the whole thing nationally and get all schools all over the country eating better exercising and living the League 15 lifestyle. Stick it in. Is that all right? Of course I will, yeah. Yes. Give you free. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> she looking? <laughs> it's lovely meeting some of the parents and some of the kids that used to come here are now adults with their own kids here, which is lovely. And I'm really interested to see like what is different, what is the difference between like the foods they were eating back then when I was at school and what they're eating now, what's in their lunch boxes. Because I really want to know if the kids are, you know, aware of what is important and what is healthy and hopefully, you know, make an impact and give them a little bit of inspiration today. Hello everybody! Hello. You're in your PE kit? That's great, so we're gonna do a workout. Who's up for it? Hey. See you after assembly. They have a lovely bunch, 300 meals a day. Mm, in here. Biryani place, you're going yeah. quite spicy. Yeah, quite spicy. We've got butternut squash in it, that's all be liquidised. So you don't fry foods, then you kind of steam things as much as you yeah, can. Everything is Yeah. Steamed. Our body is an engine, so if you're going to have lots more food, you've got to be more active, you've got to, you know, do some fitness, run around, play outside. It's difficult for some parents, they say, yeah. to eat healthy food, but there must be a way of doing it and not, you know, avoiding the cheap junk foods that's at the end of every single aisle, you know, the two for one, it's always on crisp what, and yeah. chocolate. Oh, I like that pencil case, that milk. <laughs> Bye. If you can educate the kids and the parents at the same time about what is healthy and what is unhealthy, in a, in a really inspiring, fun kind of way, like I try and do with social media, then I think that's the way, but it's, it's so important this age now where they start to make choices. Woo! So you want So before we start, if you just jump up, we'll do a little warm up, yeah? What you want to do is get your body nice and loose so that we're warmed up before we go into the actual exercise. Lift those knees up. Keep going. They love the workout, did you see them? <laughs> they loved it, I mean, they were doing the burpees, the mountain climbers. They look like trained athletes, like they've been doing it for years. Good, you've got 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds left, keep going. So it's important to have healthy food, do your exercise, feel really good, and obviously have a little treat now and again. I think it's perfectly fine. Fast punch, that's it, good. Box, 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 box. <laughs> Who's enjoying this workout? You gotta say, yeah, who loves it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, good. 10 seconds, nice and fast, as hard as you can. We are getting fit here at St. Joseph's in Epsom. And do you feel like things are getting improving each, each year? Getting healthier and more variety, yeah. More healthier options like the salad bar. I really enjoyed that. Did you enjoy it? Yeah! Do you want me to come back again? Yeah! It's really positive to see. Meet the dinner ladies. I've met the lady that runs the kind of um, the whole borough in terms of their food. They're on a three week cycle, so they change their meals. You know, they are talking about healthy macronutrients, getting the protein, the fats, and the carbs. They've got the salad bar. It's positive. The kids look healthy, they look fit. So, three, two, two one, woo! 20 years on, come this, on this massive journey from you know being a PT to doing social media to having these books and hopefully making a big impact on people's you know their lives and I want to really work with kids and families and the whole shebang because it's not just about social media this is a bigger picture. Yeah it was really fun and it also made like everyone really happy and like every, you could hear everyone laughing and they were having a really good, great time and it really inspired me. I did, yeah. I've, I've got good memories. I've always used to eat them. That's a big boy's portion, that is. Yeah. Look at that. Got myself a little vegetable curry, butternut squash, bit of rice, some vegetables. That, if you ask me, is a healthy lunch. To be honest, I'm, I was surprised at how, like, 
First of all, in Gates they are, how excitable and enthusiastic they are. And they're, they're all talking about doing fitness in after school clubs and they're saying they're eating healthy foods. Of course they're eating treats, but I think we're at a really healthy school, you know. So maybe there are other areas of the country that need more help. But I'll tell you one thing, if I can get in now and educate these kids and inspire them at this age, when they make that step to high school, when they're in their year six, and, you know, year seven and eight, sorry, and they're making food choices, I think you can really form and uh, change their kind of perception on what is health foods now. It's a good time to start. So can I finish with one more little thing just to say to everybody, is that when you're little and you're young and you're not too sure what you want to be when you're older, don't worry too much about it because you're going to find out and when you do, you're going to be amazing at what you do. Just work hard, be nice to people and just follow those rules, look. Work hard, play well and make other people happy. If you do all those things, you'll be successful and in 20 years time you might come back and talk to the kids about what you're doing. That'll be an amazing thing, won't it? Bye everybody. See ya. Well, I'm, I'm positive that if we can impact these kids now at a young age, we can make a real difference and I know it's been, it's been said before, but these kids need, they need the inspiration. They need to be making the right choices. So if someone's going to lead that campaign, I'm telling you what, I'm going to be that guy.